It was about two in the morning when I got to my cell in maximum security. There were some lights slanting in from the day room. And now all these cells were originally designed for one person. Where I come from, they put three people in a cell. So I'm thinking, I'm seeing what, there's only one guy in the cell. That's an improvement, you know. But I'm wondering why he's asleep on the top bunk. Because where I come from, people were fighting over the bottom bunks. So I'm thinking, this is a bit strange, you know. Something's not quite right. So I walk into the cell. And I start to sense movement on the walls and the ceiling. And I'm wondering, are my eyes playing tricks on me? So I put my face right up to the wall. And it's covered in cockroaches just swarming all over the wall doing loop-de-loops and all kinds of movements and I backed away from the wall one drops off the ceiling lands on me bounces on the floor look up and they're all over the ceiling as well doing these loop loop de loop movements and I'm thinking you know how on earth am I going to get to sleep in this cell just completely full of cockroaches went to the toilet used the toilet Grab the toilet roll, cockroach darts from the middle of the toilet roll onto my hand, tickling me, making me jerk like that, and I lose the toilet roll. In the end, I'm looking at my cellmate, you know, he's up there because even though they were coming out all the cracks, there was bunk brackets at the bottom of the wall where they were just pouring out of, like just crawling all each, all over each onto, onto near the, the area of the bunk. He'd wrapped himself in a sheet basically to keep them off him. So I tried that, but the sheet traps the heat of the desert to your body, and you've got all these bleeding and itching skin infections and bed sores, and it aggravates that condition to the point where it's so unbearably itchy you can't possibly sleep. So over time, it became a battle for me to see how long I could keep the sheet on before I just, I just take it off, because if you can't sleep day after day like that, you start hallucinating and hearing voices. That's what happened to me. I was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. The cockroaches would... I was watching them inches away from my face on this wall, you know, just rustling around. And I'd take the sheet off eventually because I couldn't sleep. And I'd feel them then, the presence near my feet, and they'd start tickling my feet. They'd come up my legs. They would tickle my hands. You know, to this day, if my girlfriend, if she tickles my hands, I flinch because I woke up so many nights with the cockroaches just tickling the palms of my hands. They try to get in your ears to eat your earwax. It's like honey to them. Yep, so I had to get put on medication, um, basically, to deal with the cockroaches to get to sleep because I couldn't get to sleep. And over time, I got off the medication through yoga and meditation. And it was yoga and meditation really helped save my sanity in these conditions.